as protests continue to erupt across the U.S., invoking policy changes and accountability. The continued calls to remove Confederate monuments and street names are starting to gain some steam. It's not about forgetting history. Uh, we want to remember the history and we want to remember the things that these people did because it was horrific but we don't want to memorialize them or celebrate them. Elise Moser is a part of the effort to change the name of Dorset Road in Maryland Heights. She says a simple look into Walter Dorset's history tells you everything you need to know about why it needs to be changed. So it was not just that he was a slave owner, but also he was an active anti-abolitionist and working against the rights of black people. So um, to me as a resident, um, that's really that's really damaging. She's also pointing out a St. Louis County document that shows Dorset owned some two dozen slaves as young as six months old. The call to change the street name echoes that of the continued push to remove Christopher Columbus's statue from Tower Grove Park in South St. Louis. More than 2,500 people have signed that online petition. We have an opportunity here to, to make a change. Back in Maryland Heights, the city acknowledged the effort to rename Dorset, but it's putting the responsibility on St. Louis County. A spokesperson says in a statement, quote, the naming of roadways is under purview of the entity which jurisdiction over the roadway being considered. Moser says St. Louis County Councilwoman Kelly Dunaway is supporting their effort to change Dorset Road. Fox 2 reached out to her office for a comment, but they never got back. In the meantime, organizers plan to keep pushing to right in their minds the past wrongs. Once you know better, you can absolutely do better. In Maryland Heights, Darion Henderson, Fox 2 News.